Like we kept things as I was growing up, they get really vicious actually, like if you don't talk to them. But you can do it humanely, you don't have to keep them like that. So let's, let's, let's say hypothetically the animals are really happy, like ideal farm, great lives. Do you think that there would be a, a humane way to kill, kill the animal? And how would, how would it be? Would that make it okay? If a starving family had a goat to kill, and that was how they were going to live for a couple of days, would you stop that? Right, so, so I think there's a key difference when um, you need to do something in order to survive. So if, if we had to eat these animals to survive, I wouldn't be standing here trying to educate people about it. But I believe there's an unnecessary element to it because it's proven now that we can be healthy without eating these products. So my thing about this isn't... Put it this way, I got on the tube about... Uh, probably about six months ago. And there was like a big sign on there. I don't know if you're vegan, but there was a big sign on there. And it was like this lovely baby calf and a mum. I'm sure you've seen, I've seen it. it. Take, take and I was it. like, Christ, it is six in the morning. <laughs> It's too early for like <laughs> fighting your cause. <laughs> but it's always going to be hard to think about that. And the, the point is, no matter how hard it is for us to see it, it's worse for the beings who are actually experiencing it. But then if we didn't, but then we can't afford to keep them all, like, no. right? We can't afford to keep all the animals no. if we're not going to eat them. So actually, then a lot of them are going to have to die anyway. So what we're advocating for is to stop purchasing the products so they stop breeding them. So there's no, there's no killing involved, we stop breeding them. The more, the more vegans there are, the decrease gradually of how many animals they breed because they only care about money until they stop breeding them. But then do we put farmers and stuff out of business or does everyone become an Arab farmer? So farmers would, would have to get different jobs. There's all, there have been farmers who have transitioned to plant agriculture. Okay. Have we got the right environment to grow all the seeds and stuff here or would we put families out of business? I don't think that any benefit the oppressor gets, the people who hurt these animals, I don't just mean farmers, I mean consumers, because that's where the problem is really, yeah. um, can justify doing this to them. It's harder for them though, isn't it? So I think we need to force ourselves to at least acknowledge this is happening. Otherwise we're never going to... It's horrible. I've, I've cried watching it as well. It's hard to watch, but it's the truth. It's what's happening. And if we turn a blind eye to it and don't watch it, it doesn't make a difference to them. This is happening whether we like it or not. As an educated Let's person, it's kind of such a stupid thing to say, but I don't know how to do it. How to go vegan? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Um, I that's... don't know how to do it. Like, I love dairy. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, so I you're... flat white every day. <laughs> you're against um, like babies being taken from their mothers and dairy, and so you think that's horrible, right? Even yeah, if it's not 6 a.m. You disagree mom. with it. But you like the taste, basically. You're, you really love the taste of animal products, just like I did. But which of those two things do you value higher about yourself? Taste pleasure or an animal's life? What's more important to you? I don't know, because I suppose you can change the taste buds over time. Taste buds do change over time. Do you think it's wrong to take their life? Yes, but not in the situation if a family was starving. I agree. I mean, I give, I give to Brooks every month, I give to the RSPCA every month, I give to OGK every month. Hmm. There you go, you, you are the, you have the same morals. I do do it, well. I just, I'm not, I just like bacon. Yeah, but what is more important to you? The taste of bacon or, or a pig's life? The way we kill pigs in the UK, a third of them are killed with gas chambers. In the egg industry, when they're breeding the chickens, they only need the females, the hens, because they're the ones that need the eggs. So the male chicks are completely useless. So they put them on a grind into this conveyor belt and they go into a grinder and get ground up while they're fully conscious. Either that or they get suffocated in bags because the males are useless, they don't make any money. So half the population of the chickens they're breeding just get ground up alive and suffocated, at one day old. I probably should give up, like, give up me. I should probably should give up animal products. I'm at a much higher risk than you are of having a heart, heart attack. Heart disease. So I'm so on statins, I've been on statins since I was 24. Yeah. What do you eat then? So I eat lots of fruit. Um, okay. um, I eat lots of whole foods. But I'm also quite, quite a lazy person. So a there lot. There you go. Now you're talking my language. Yeah. So oh, uh, time. That's my problem. Oh, I'm the same. Yeah. So a lot of what I do is I just take the meat out of what I normally eat and, and <laughs> shove in vegan meat. So rather than. Um, oh, can you eat like tofu and corn and exactly, stuff? Exactly. Yeah. Ah, oh, I eat that anyway. Yeah. A lot of corn isn't vegan. Uh, you have to check. But uh, tofu's uh, good if you season it. If you're good at seasoning it. Yeah. I mean that stuff's funny, right? Yeah. Like tofu, I'm working on it. <laughs> I remember eating some somewhere and it just hadn't been seasoned and I was like... Yeah, it's just nothing. It's like drink, eating water. <laughs> and 
I love and I love like corn and stuff in uh, in a chili. Like mince. Yeah. Yeah, you can get the same thing. It's much it's, nicer it's, than normal. Yeah. Actually, so you, that's all you do. You, you just can just swap it with a vegan alternative. You can vegan mince. Um, you can even get like vegan chicken now. You can get vegan turkey. It's actually amazing. I'm from Wales, and it's like much harder but in, in London. <laughs> Most people can't tell, but in London, it's like oh my god. And like eating out, like vegan pizza, vegan burgers everywhere. But I don't know. But I suppose that's my thing. Like whether or not it's super restrictive. Like to to, and I just know that I mess up, and then I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and then I'd be like, oh, I messed up. Like I've eaten something Everyone makes mistakes. You can only do the best you can. All we can do, the best we can, to, to help try and stop this. Because whenever we pick up that pork sausage, whenever we pick up that egg or the cheese, we're paying for an animal to go through this. And it's not for any reason that we need. It's not because we need to for our health. It's because we like the way they taste and because we've always done it. We've been told to by our parents. But there's an alternative. Veganism has grown by 360% in the last 10 years. When people see this, they don't like it. Okay. I can't look at those chickens upside down, that's like you're really upset. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you have, you have to, otherwise you're not going to gain the motivation to do anything to change. Yeah, I, I won't sleep. I won't sleep. I get really upset about things. I, won't, I, can't. I, get, I get it. I get it. And it's, like, it's funny, actually, because I watched an awful video that someone had posted on Facebook, and it was a woman in China skinning animals alive for fur. Uh -huh. And it was the most awful thing, I, and I still can't forget it. I had a similar experience. And I, yeah. I sat on my paper, and I literally just... Yeah, I had a similar experience, so I saw it, it happen. That really upset me, and I, I, could, and I just, I wanted to scream at them. Yeah. Do you know why, why they skin them? Kind of. It's because they don't want to damage the fur. Yeah. So they don't want to use a knife. Yeah. So they'll skin them alive, or they'll ele anally electrocute them, and that's how they get the fur that we're wearing around, around London. I don't buy. I won't wear any fur. So I won't wear any fur. Yeah. So why is that? Because I can't bear it. I think it's awful. When I see people with, I actually saw a person wearing fur somewhere, and I. Sometimes I get all over opinionated and I went up to her and I said, Do you know how that's made? Do you? Proud of yourself. And I was like There you go, you sound like you sound like a vegan. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually tomorrow is my birthday. I'm flying to New York for work tomorrow. Um, and I know that I'll be able to go there and walk into a restaurant and be like, I'll have something vegan and they'll cater exactly. because it's New York. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I get it. So let's say if you if you went into a restaurant and you had to, if you were buying an animal product and you saw this happen, would you still want to buy it? Um, no. Because that consequence still exists. We just don't see it. But so how do we, how does one person stop that? You're not just one person though, there's millions of us around the world now boycotting these products and we are directly affecting the supply and demand. My sister had two sows. Hmm. Um, and she, they both had babies on the same night. And actually, I remember picking up one of the babies and it's, it squealed and squealed because it'd been squealing for its mum. It obviously mm. thought like a predator had got it and she came. Yeah, so they, came they, they care for their young, just oh, like, just like we do. do. Yeah, yeah. And yet we separate them. The cow there had twins and one died coming into the world and the other one died because it wasn't very well and it did die, it died in the night. And that poor cat, oh my god, you can hear it from my house right. and her house, it cried all night for its baby. Mm -hmm. And I said to my sister, wasn't that awful? Did you hear it? She said, yeah, it cried all night. And did all you know that's, that's happening every day in the UK? If I had a vegan burger on the table in front of you, and then I had, say, a pig, and I said, I, I could kill a pig and you could eat that, or you could eat the vegan burger, which would you choose? I'd eat the vegan burger. We make that choice every day. Yeah, I... I don't, I, all I can say is I can try. Yeah. Well, all I can say is I'll give you something to look up because all we want to do is get people to research into this. Okay. And then once you look into it, you make your own informed decision. The first thing I'd recommend is something called The Best Speech You'll Ever Hear. Have you got Netflix? Or do you use someone yeah, else's Netflix? No. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> One of the few. <laughs> if you go on What the Health, uh, it's a documentary all about the health benefits of a vegan diet. Also, if you wanted to, 22 days of full ve vegan support, vegan22.com, you sign up and you get um, assigned a dietitian and a vegan buddy. It's completely free. He will talk through things with you, like what you can eat. Uh, and it, and the, the idea is it takes 22, 21 days to build a habit. Yeah, yeah. So that's, there's loads of support here. I'll try it. Yeah. I'll Thank you so much for stopping. I'll try it. Sorry. 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 So long. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping. It's been a really good conversation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you. Thank you very much.
First cry in ages! <laughs> First cry in ages! Do you think that there is an ethical way to take an animal's life? No, I don't agree with any of it and actually I'd love to join you guys in however best I can. Really? Oh, amazing. Yeah, because I'm, like I said, I'm fully vegetarian. Uh -huh. can, I, can I do stuff like this with you? 100%. Uh, as volunteers, we show Yay. up once a week. Who are you? Anonymous what? for the voiceless. Yay! Okay, <laughs> I love this. Thank you. Um, so we, we usually, okay. we're here every Friday or Saturday. Yeah? Okay. Um, and I just email, who are you? Me, personally. Yeah. Oh, I'm Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Are you on this card? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. No. Um, All right. But I can email so you. You don't even need to email. The best thing you can do is just go find a Facebook event. Yeah. Oh, and join in. Yeah. Can I be a part of what you're doing, like, with this kind of stuff as well, though, and actually, like, help however yeah. and, like, do what you're doing right yeah, now? Yeah, 100%. You just turn up uh, and, and you go from there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I will do it. I've got a rush, but I'm okay. really glad that you're here. And it's really, like, heartening to see <laughs> ah, people. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, it's horrible watching this kind of thing as well. So, but you have the power to help stop this by being active, by being vegan. When you were vegan, all we're doing was we're not hurting animals, and that's that's the first step. But we're not doing anything yeah. for them. Yeah. The only way we actually pretty am be like I pretty much am vegan. Yeah. The only way we actually stop but this is by all helping other people see it. So as horrible as this is, there's positivity there and there's hope because you can do something about it. You can come here and join us, and you can show people what's happening. Because veganism has grown by 360% in the last 10 years. Exactly, so this is going to change. I would so. <laughs> it is, it's like, It is, right. if we work together and work on it. Thank you, Jack. Thank <laughs> you. Thank Keep you. doing what you're doing. Thank you.